Hi, Aries. This is Kathy. Welcome to a timeless love reading. Let's see what spirit has for my Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in any cross watcher today. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful that spirit has guided you here. Please use any of my readings to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Spirit, I ask that you guide me today for all of my Aries or anyone who has found this message. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have for love, everybody. Let's see what we have. I have a raven. Darkness looms on the horizon. So I have a fear coming into me, almost a sense of um, a trust issue with somebody. So maybe it's a sense of, is this person worthy of my time? Is this per person worthy of my energy? Let's keep going. I have a griffin, honor and good luck. I'm going to say honor yourself first. I'm going to say make sure that you are being respected. Make sure that you are being taken care of, Spirit just said. I have the oracle. Seek wisdom and guidance from your elders, okay? Um, family, friends, of course. But I'm going to say even your inner voice, your own spirit guides guiding you. Listen, listen for the guidance. If your intuition is telling you there's something up, I'm going to say then there's something up. Back away, spirit saying, walk away from somebody who gives you those red flags. Now, this could just be a reminder for some of you that you had those red flags earlier on in a past relationship and you didn't listen to them. So they're saying, you know, maybe next time around, be smarter, listen to those, um, that, that gut feeling that comes into all of us that says, something isn't uh something's up right um here's some jealousy medusa jealousy leads to a downfall so you could have somebody who has trust issues who um isn't trusting of you which is like you know really upsetting if there's nothing going on and it could be an ongoing battle i mean if somebody is you know, just really, you know, kind of nuts with jealousy. Who are you talking to? Who did you see? That person's looking at you. You know, there's some really kind of crazy jealous people out there. Um, so if jealousy is an issue, I'm going to say address it because it's only going to get worse. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm worried about. Bottom of the deck, I have a fire sign. So I do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, reckless actions lead to a conflict. So we've got kind of this um, fire brewing energy. Um, Spirit saying it's a heated passion. I'm, I'm going to write that down for a second. Um, so it could be, I'm very passionate about this person, but it's a very, um, I don't want to use the word hostile because I do have love and I do have a key. So I feel like this person has opened up a part of you that maybe hasn't opened up before. It's very passionate. It's very, um, it could be very sensual. It could be a very, you know, just a very passionate, hot connection. Um, but they have opened up your heart. And the only red flag that I'm feeling right now is I wish that they would, they would trust me more. I guess I want to say it that way, that you know, wherever this trust issue is coming from, I wish they would trust me more because it would just be an easier connection. So that is definitely something's going on there. So let's keep going. Let's see what the cards are saying. And welcome back, everybody. Welcome to all my new uh, sus subscribers. I've had a lot of new subscribers recently. Thank you for joining us. Uh, just to, as a side note, um, this is a new deck. Um, if you guys are interested, it is the Halloween, the Halloween tarot. It's a little bit oversized. Um, it has a velvet finish. The cards are gorgeous. I did get it on Amazon. Kind of has a dark brown edging, um, but it is a gorgeous deck. So I know I like to share my decks with all of you because you always comment below, like, I love that deck. What is that deck? Um, so before we get started, so let's see what the cards are saying. That is kind of just the energy on the table so far of 
um, a heated, you know, very heated, passionate connection. But we have, you know, okay, there's the but. <laughs> um, but we have some trust issues. So we are going to kind of tackle that energy now. Spirit, what is it that you want me to know? I have the world. I have a three of cups. I have a magician and a justice card coming out together. So we're going to take a look at those first. This feeling of balance. I want to be more in balance. I, I want it to be a fair connection. When somebody attacks you or says something that you haven't done, that is unfair. And you're, you're, you know, everything in your body, you know, reacts to it. Um, you are strong. You're independent. This magician is probably has a lot to offer. It's probably a person that's come into your energy that um, you really, really like. You really like for a lot of different reasons. And I do feel that we could have it all. And I feel like we are going to get over this hurdle. And I keep asking spirit, like, where is this trust issue coming from? So they're starting over for sure. I do. I really like this world. This little devil is jumping out at me. So it's not necessarily a devil card. It is a world card. So it's a new phase. It's a new journey. But that little devil is the, the person inside all of us that's has that um, what's right, what's wrong. And, you know, we, some of us, we all have that tendency to go, you know what, I want to do something over there that's a little bad and I shouldn't. Um, so that little devil is kind of jumping out at me for some reason. But I do have this feeling of connection. I, I do feel like I am letting people know about this connection, Spirit says. So that tells me that I'm not ashamed of this connection. I'm not hiding this connection. I am sharing it. I might be getting advice, Spirit just said. I might be running some of the things that are said to me by a friend or a sister or a brother or something like that, um, just to see what their input is. Um, as far as, you know, so-and-so said this, or look at this text, what do you think? Um, so you're second guessing yourself, you're, you're, you're having a hard time um, seeing things clearly. So I would ask spirit to guide you that you see it for what it is when it comes in, and that you um, don't second guess what the meaning behind it is. I have a seven of swords. Yeah, I mean, I, I really feel like, you know, when somebody is accusing you of something, usually it's because they're doing it or they're thinking about doing it. And I hate to say that we have some lies, my Aries, because I don't want that in your love reading. But I also don't want to be naive to that people aren't always honest so if this is a relatively early connection and you've got red flags, I want you to, to um, you know, listen to them is how I feel today. I have strength. Spirit's going to give you, it, it was more of a power than strength. It was more of a, your power, your energy, you deserve more. You're not going to take this, um, came into me. So I, I feel like it's more than just strength. And I have a tower. Um, I'm going to say the truth comes out. Let's say it that way. Okay. And this could be a past experience. This could be, this could be, you know what, that's exactly what I went through, Kathy. I, I had a lot of red flags. I had an extremely jealous um, ex and I didn't listen. I didn't listen to my intuition because at the end of the day, this person was doing exactly what they were accusing me of doing. And that is how it's coming into me. So look at this tower. We don't. We we try to avoid these cards uh, for some reason, but I don't want to. They're of course, a big part of the deck because that that tower is a major arcana card. It is a sense of sometimes we have to end something in order to start something new. And that's what the tower is all about. It is removing something or somebody or a, a situation from our life that 
isn't in alignment with us anymore and we have to move on. So I'm going to, I'm going to do more of a, let's put this energy to the side. Okay. For those of you that have this energy, uh, let's say that spirit guides you to make a decision <laughs> um, and find out the truth. The truth always comes out. Okay. So let's see where we're headed as far as moving forward. Okay. So assuming that we have gotten rid of this energy and it was, we found out it was lies. We found out it was, you know, it was crazy that somebody was always attacking me for something I wasn't doing. I have a high priestess. You listen to your intuition. I love it. I love it. And you, I guess, you know, you took back your energy and said, you know, I'm not doing this. I have a 10 of swords. There's the ending. And here's the nine of wands. So it's not going to be easy, maybe ending this connection, but you are smarter than that. And you're going to pick yourself back up and you're going to move on. You are making a decision. There's a decision to be made. Okay. So there's a big decision and you know, it's the fork in the road. Um, it, it's the, I've got to do something. This has gone on long enough, something like that. But you're going to make a decision to pick yourself up is really what is happening in this reading. And um, it, you probably have already done that, but you are fighting. Look at this Knight of Swords. That That's coming into me as... Um, I guess speaking my mind, I want to say it that way. And it could be in this connection or even moving forward into another connection that I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm not going to allow somebody to talk down to me. Um, I do have a King of Cups. Beautiful. So I do deserve somebody who um, the word they're using is kind. <laughs> they're using kind. They're using caring. They're using loving. Um, this isn't somebody who has a trust issue. This is somebody who opens their heart. This is somebody who is emotionally, the reason why somebody else is jealous is because they are not in a, a good emotional place. That is why, right? They're projecting their jealousy on you. So this is somebody that King of Cups is secure emotionally. They, they've they arrived. They know who they are. They know what they want. They've got love to give. Um, they're looking for more love. They are ready to give love. So, I mean, out of all the cards, that King of Cups is the one who is probably the most emotionally stable. So if somebody's coming into your energy that has that, then that's that's what spirit wants for you. And I feel like you just have to get your head on it that I know that that exists and, and that's coming my way. Look at this, four of wands. They have something better for you. you the, when you are in that, I have to decide, I have to make a decision and it's gonna be hard. You have to look at what's on the other side look at what they're offering you. They're offering you this beautiful celebration. This could be a wedding. Look at everybody dancing. Everybody's having a good time. It's a, it's like this carnival energy. Um, and it's a, it's a, somebody that has a, a very stable emotional, um, personality, like they're in a good place. And I want that. Yeah, look at bottom of my deck is temperance. So they're very balanced. They're very balanced. And this is somebody who's, you know, wants to be in a, a healthy, happy, stable relationship that isn't projecting their insecurities on you. So again, it could have been somebody from your past. It could be spirit just reminding all of my Aries today that your intuition is your number one um, defense <laughs> against somebody who could potentially hurt you. And, and that's why we have it. We have it uh, to protect us. 11-11 on my clock this morning when I'm recording this. How beautiful. Tell me more about this connection spirit. Wedding rings. Okay. I do feel that. I do feel that this is a soul connection and spirit is taking something away from you, that tower, so that they can show you that they have this everlasting love, that they have this um, 
you know, a forever love. Okay. And that is what we want to focus on because sometimes we just can't see it, but we have to believe it. And that, that's maybe what we're manifesting today. Let's see what else they have for you. As a grim reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. <laughs> no second chances. Now, sometimes, you know, I'm a big believer in a second chance. I mean, it for the right person. But I'm also a big believer of there are certain things that people do that are unacceptable that if they did it once, they're going to do it twice and you deserve better. So no second chances for the person that you may be thinking of right now. Not an option. <laughs> they're not coming back. How about, you know, and a lot of my my um, I love when spirit shares with me in my no contact readings when they feel like I feel like they're coming back. Um, they're not coming back is really what your reading is all about. And maybe that's like you know what? Good. You know, comment below. Good. I don't want them back. You know, like I, I don't want them back. You know, that I want something new. Uh, keys on a ring. You know, this feeling of you were just one of many. And now you've got this king of cups who you are being put first. You are the most important thing in their life. Um, and you can't compare you can't compare the past to the to what is coming or if this new relationship is in your life right now. Um, a hand of cards, take a chance, take a chance on love, take a chance on a new love moving forward, um, not looking back, just knowing like, you know, laser vision here with uh, there's something better and I deserve more. Let's see what else we're saying today. I have, it was a toxic relationship. So I am in agreement with that. There was probably fighting. I feel like we have this, um, it's probably just unfinished business with healing. Like I just maybe haven't completely released the resentment or the anger or the, um, how this person treated me. Um, maybe I just keep thinking about, you know, how hurt I am. But we, we really do need to move on at some point and get this toxic energy out of our life. Um, if this is you or if this was them, some alcohol um, issues that could have interfered with this connection or past connection, that's a problem. So we don't want that in our life again. We're avoiding that. Good for you. Single, I'd rather be alone. What did they just say? Um, I'm not coming back, right? I'd rather be alone than that, let that person back. Okay, you got, you know what you want. You know what you want. Surrender, let go, um, release, continue to release. Um, you know, obviously spirits reminding you of something that you've been through or going through um, because you have some unfinished business yourself. So, we want to address that and we just want to continue to ask spirit to help you. I'm trying to surrender. I'm trying to move on and just keep asking for guidance. It's all happening in divine timing. <laughs> spirit loves sharing with me divine timing and all my readings. So divine timing, when you are ready, they just said, um, when you are ready and you let spirit know that you're ready and you feel really confident about where you are emotionally and um, that you, tr you trust again, <laughs> that you're not going to be hurt. So I want to go back to my King of Cups because it's, it's like night and day to me that, and, and people might even say that to you, that this is a totally different person than who was in your past, even if it was like a past husband, you know, like your first husband versus somebody you're serious about now. Um, I, I feel like it, it's just such a difference in personalities and behaviors um, that it's just mind blowing that you would be with these two completely different types of people. Um, so that's probably good news if the first relationship wasn't your best. But um, I think that other people take notice of this new connection. And I think they're really, really happy for you because they can see that you're happy. They can see it's a better person for you. They can see that it's a healthier relationship all around for you. So people who know you very well, I'm going to say are very, very happy for you. 
I have a nine of wands. I have a magician. I have a page of pentacles. I am getting some signs now. I just got a cancer energy. I have a Pisces. I just got a uh, Leo. I'm getting a Sagittarius, Aquarius. And one more, please, spirit, a Libra. Okay, thank you. So if you didn't hear your person sign, don't worry about it. Um, it, it. They just come into me with just some clues. Sometimes they give me numbers. Sometimes they give me signs. The emperor. I feel like I like this sense of the magician. I like this sense of m even this moving on with the nine of wands. So right now, I feel like you're seeing the best quality in this new person. You're seeing... They're using the word opportunity, not in a business sense, but in an opportunity to have a different life, a different lifestyle, a, um, a better lifestyle. How about that? You know, where you're not in a relationship where there's arguments or fighting or um, trust issues. So um, it's just an opportunity to create a, a life for yourself with this person that that I guess has a lot more meaning. I'm going to say it that way. Uh, I have a page of swords. We're going to get to know each other. I love that. King of wands, lots of passion, emperor, strong energy, queen of swords. So that is coming into me as I do stand my ground with this person. I do stand up to this person. And I feel like that's more of your confidence and that's more of your, um, I'm not going to let anybody ever, you know, tell me what to do or what I'm thinking or feeling or accuse me of anything. So that lesson that we learned has helped in this connection because you're stronger, you're stronger and you're a, a better person as well, spirit saying. So let's see what the love messages are going to be. Um, I kind of like that spirit, you know, maybe somebody's out there thinking about you and they're thinking that they're going to try again. And spirit's like reminding you like, no, 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 you're not doing that. There is no way you're going back. I saw myself in you the first second I laid my eyes on you. So that feels to me like an instant attraction, you know, that eye contact that happens and that instant attraction Thank you for your beautiful light and energy in my life. So they're seeing the best qualities in you. I love that. Can we just kiss all night? So somebody who wants to hold you. Lots of pillow talk, I feel. Um, very playful energy. Just very loving, very adoring energy. Um, so I do feel this sense of um, somebody, you know, can we go from somebody that is... Um, basically a liar to somebody who adores you. Yes, we can. And the how we get there is we decide that we're going to just listen to ourselves. We're going to listen to what's best for our future selves. And we make some really good decisions. Um, you're like my long lost, lost best friend. So you will feel that friendship you will feel this is the person I want to be with. I, I always love that. And last but not least, spirit, when? <laughs> when is this person coming into our life? If it hasn't arrived yet, use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy of or to confirm a love that is in your life. Let's see what we have. I have September. Could be birthday months also. Keep that in mind. The number 23 I have the next couple of days. Okay, let's manifest that. Let's claim that. Let's get a couple more. Next full moon. There you go. The number 48. And one more, please, spirit. How beautiful. Nine months from now. But you could meet this person at any time. In nine months from now, you realize that, yeah, this is the person I really want to be with. This is the person that I do want to settle down with and um, spend all night long kissing, you know, so let's thank spirit together. I want to thank spirit for these messages. How beautiful. I want to thank you all for joining me. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, comment below, claim it, own it. It's yours. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, I'll put my website link below, Kathy Mamelin, psychic medium.com. In the meantime, I'll see you guys all again in another love messages real soon.